this guy says the horse can do, if he says the horse can do, can do, can do. Welcome to Odds and Ends with Mike Tice. It's week 12 of the NFL's 100th season. We've got a lot of great games to talk about today. We've also got some teams on a bye. Let's start out talking about those teams. The Arizona Cardinals, 3-7-1, and one, coming off that tough loss to the 49ers, 36-26. They're on a bye this week. The Mexico City team, the Chargers, and the Chiefs are both on a bye. The Chiefs, of course, won that game, went to 7-4. and four. The Chargers, 4-7. and seven. Those two teams are on a bye this week. And also, the 8-3 and three Minnesota Vikings coming off that big 20-point comeback win over the Denver Broncos. Kirk Cousins, two touchdown passes in the fourth quarter. The Minnesota Vikings are on a bye this week. We've got a lot of great games to talk about, and I've got three games to pick for you guys. I'll tell you what, game of the week, going for four in a row this week. Let's see what we can do when we come right back with more of Odds and Ends with Mike Tice. Can do. This guy says the horse can do. If he says the horse can do, can do, can do. Well, welcome back to Odds and Ends with Mike Tice. And as I said, there are some great games this week in the National Football League. I'm going to pick three of them for you in a second including my game of the week. But first, let's talk about some of those other great matchups out there, starting with the Seattle Seahawks, who are coming off a bye at 8-2. and two. They're sixth in the league in rushing. They travel to Philly, who are 5-5, five and five, coming off that tough loss, 2017 to the New England Patriots. They're number four in the league in rush defense. That's going to be a great game. The Broncos, who are number four in the league in defense, travel to Buffalo, who are 7-3 and three and number 3 in the league in defense. The Broncos coming off that tough loss. They were up 20 points against the Vikings. They end up losing 27-23 in that football game. The Raiders at 6-4, and four, coming off that win, 17-10 against the Cincinnati Bengals. Number 9 in the league in rushing uh, behind Jacobs and that offensive line. They go to the Jets at 3-7. and seven. The Jets are coming off that big 34-17 win over the Redskins. The Jets or number one in the league in rush defense. So that should be a real, real good contest as well. The Packers coming off a bye at 8-2. and two. They travel to the 49ers, who are 9-1. and one. The 49ers are number two in scoring offense and number two in scoring defense. That's going to be a great game on Sunday night. And the Monday night game, boy, I tell you, Jackson, the quarterback of the Baltimore Ravens, they're number one in offense, number one in scoring offense. They're just dynamic at 8-2 and two right now. They travel to the Rams at 6-4. and four. The Rams, though, are number one in the league in lack, lack of, lack of giving up explosive runs and explosive passes. So that should be a good matchup and a good contest. The Rams are coming off that 17-7 win against the Bears. When we come back, I'll give you my three picks, which includes my Game of the Week. More of Odds and Ends with Mike Tice in a minute. Well, welcome back to Odds and Ends with Mike Tice. And uh, as I said, I'm going to pick three games for you, starting with the Detroit Lions, minus three and a half, traveling to the Washington Redskins, who lost 34-17 to the Jets last week. The Redskins cannot score. They're 32nd league in scoring, only scoring 12 and a half points a game. A little bit better against the pass on defense than they are against the run. Not very good against the run on defense. And the Detroit Lions are number 11 in the league in scoring at 24.4 points a game. Coming off that tough loss to the Dallas Cowboys, 35-27. I like the Lions' indoor team to go back east 50 degrees on Sunday and cover and beat the Washington Redskins minus three and a half. I also like the Dallas Cowboys against the Patriots getting six and a half points. Number four in the league in scoring, number seven in the league in scoring defense, although they are having some defensive issues, but I like them to cover against the Patriots who are number one in the league in scoring defense, number three in the league in scoring offense. Patriots can't get any yards, but they score points. 
Uh, that's the two games I like. And in a second, I'll come right back with more of odds and ends with Mike Tice and my pick of the week going for four in a row. <laughs> Welcome back to Odds and Ends with Mike Tyson. Now, for my pick of the week, I like, no, no, I love the Tennessee Titans minus three to defeat the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars are minus one in the turnover differential. The Tennessee Titans are plus five in the turnover differential. Number seven in scoring defense, while the Jacksonville Jaguars are number 20 in scoring offense. The Titans are also coming off a bye, which is doubly dangerous playing at home. I like the Tennessee Titans to cover minus three. And let me tell you what, here's a few more reasons why I like the Titans this week. Well, here's a couple reasons why I like the Titans. Let's start with quarterback Ryan Tannehill. Get comfortable in this offense. Here's a 52-yarder to Khalif Raymond. Turns in to be a touchdown at the end of this drive. Now you got Derrick Henry, the big back. 12 yards on this carry, moving the pile. You've got to tackle this big back. The Jaguars are 29th in the league against the rush, giving up 134.6 yards a game. Here's Derrick Henry, 68 yards and a touchdown. If you don't tackle, this is what you get. I think the Jags D wants to rush the passer and not stop the run. And then Ryan Tannehill in the clutch. This essentially is to win the game. 29 seconds to go to Adam Humphreys in the slot. This is a touchdown. I like the Titans to cover minus three. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Odds and Ends with Mike Tyson. Let me regroup and give you my picks again. I like the Detroit Lions to go into Washington. They are minus three and a half and to win and cover. I also like the Dallas Cowboys getting six and a half points to go into New England and cover. Possibly win that game if they don't turn the football over. And I love my pick of the week. The Tennessee Titans at home against the Jaguars. Minus three. Derrick Henry to have a big day running the football against the Jaguars. And those are my picks for the week, including my pick of the week, the Tennessee Titans. I hope all your picks are winning picks. I hope all your teams win. You can tweet us at odds and ends pod. Have a great Thanksgiving. We'll see you next week with our special show for the three Thanksgiving Day games.